guys, it's about time for the hot seat and today the hot seat is hotter than usual because I am hanging out with the boys that know cars better than anything else. We just had a successful launch of the biggest car show in East and Central Africa, Cars by Big Boy Trev and I am chilling with the boys right here. Hi, how are you guys? Oh, I'm good, I'm good, we're good. Yes. I've already done the intro for you guys, but I will let you speak to our audience. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> you know, I know they want to hear from you. Uh, my name is Trevor, Big Boy Trev. Um, host of the Cars Big Boy Trev show that's coming on KTN Home. Sunday 6.30, don't forget that. Um, now in season 2, so we're rebranding it as season 2.0. Bigger, better, and of course, much more exciting. All right. Thank you. Yes, and I'm Rigi. I'm the co-host of uh, Cars with Big Boy Trev. Um, so basically what I do is... Uh, Help Trevor be the uh, be the best that he can, do the best content, and uh, yeah, we, we we bounce ideas off each other and we do some incredible stuff, which like you said, you're going to see on Sunday. We we, we are very excited to see for to let guys see what you've been up to for the last few months. Yeah. And before we even get deep into it, let me just say congratulations on Thank big you. the biggest car show in Eastern Central Africa and also the only motor show that we have right here in Kenya. Yeah. How does that feel? It feels good. Um, we've been at it for a while. Um, having regular content that is based on motoring is so important because Kenya as a country is really growing and there's that space where Kenyans are seeking information about motoring content. So we found a gap and we've identified it and made sure that we you know, plug it in with a lot of useful information, exciting reviews and of course advice because everybody's looking at advice. So from maintenance to road safety, all those things encompassed in one amazing show. There's something different about this. What was the thought process? How did you realize that this is what the people need? Well, I mean, we also watch car shows. We actually like cars. It's not yes. something that's coming out of, out of nowhere. We love cars. We've been watching car content and we've been noticing, look, a lot of this content is not made for us. It's not made for us in Kenya. It's not made for us in Africa. It doesn't speak to us. People are talking about stuff. Uh, about our car's abilities on snow, they are talking about stuff that really we can't relate to. So we thought, okay, instead of complaining about the fact that guys are not making a car show for us, let's do something about it. Yeah. So what should we expect from season 2.0? Uh, <laughs> Wait, shock me, surprise us. Keep yeah, us yeah. waiting in one day. will tell us one and I'll say an, uh, another. Mm -hmm. So from, from us, we're now telling the African story, the Kenyan story about motoring, and we are going out there to create content. So. The last six, seven months we've been out of town going and searching for good information to bring to Kenyans. So for example, you know Kenyans love Mercedes-Benz, I mean it's an aspirational vehicle. So we had to go to the home, to the heart of Mercedes-Benz and bring you the first car when it was built. So we have that content on episode one on Sunday 630, so make sure you watch that. So I'm going to ask, you know, these brand new cars, why would you advise people to go for brand new cars? You know, the people who say, you know, I can import and probably it will be cheaper, or, you know, yeah. I can get a second hand that I can mm, renovate and it's going to be proper and it's not going to be ex expensive as these brand new cars that actually the display today was insane, but yeah. Why do you think it's really important to go for the brand new cars? Three words, peace of mind. And one thing that we are here to tell people, and actually we saw with the launch, we had very many motor vehicle dealers here. What they are showing us is that they are beginning to pay attention to guys on the ground. So what you saw here today earlier during the launch and what you're going to see during the show is that there's a wide range of vehicles available for every price point and every use case. So whether you're starting out and it's your first job or you want to trade up in your second job, you want to show that you're made in life, there are brand new cars in the new car market at prices that are going to shock you. Sometimes cheap is expensive. You might buy a, an import and uh, it might serve you very well, but then now immediately you have to start thinking which mechanic are you going to go to, how much are the parts, are the parts original, you buy a brand new car, all of those are uh, considerations that you don't need to think about. Are our roads good enough to, you know, offer a good space for such kind of high-end cars? We are classified uh, and are ranking for, I think, uh, severity level number 25. Severity means the conditions of the country. So the road conditions, the air pollution, atmosphere, everything that is related into a car. So, for example, uh, severity condition number one is the advanced countries, so Europe, Japan, United States. So they have good roads, there's no dust, so they have softer suspension, they have smaller seals, the engine oil is lighter, because those cars are built for such conditions. But you see Kenya, with our rough roads and our dust and things, the cars have to, have to be put with heavy duty suspension, bigger radiators, bigger seals to prevent dust from getting in. So a lot of dealers now bring in these cars, bring cars that are, tropicalized for these conditions. So those are the kind of the qu things we'll be talking about uh, when you're reviewing the cars. So if 
we review a used car for example we tell you the, the the cost of owning the car because there's one thing buying one and then maintaining it so before you even think of buying a car you need to do your research and this is what uh cars big boy travel will give you along the way do you think we are well equipped to this knowledge even before we go out to buy cars or we just now no i want a range rover and that's it you don't care to find out more about it do you think we have such kind of information i think um it depends on the segment of the market that you're looking at so there are what what the dealers have been telling us now the guys who sell new cars in this country is that the people walking in and asking about cars are more sophisticated than they used to be before they're asking for more things than people used to ask for before there are co more considerations about safety they are more considerate about the technology so what's happening is um, somebody who has the amount of money to buy a luxury car, for instance, if somebody who travels the world, they're exposed. So what, what, they're, what they're demanding now is a lot more than they were demanding before. So whereas before somebody just wanted a car that can take them from point A to B, somebody now is thinking about how this car fits into their lifestyle. So we have seen that there is a segment of the market that is extremely well switched on and knows exactly what they want and they are, they are asking for global standards when it comes to these cars and they are putting a lot of pressure on the new car dealers by the way to make sure that this comes and uh, also now like you said there is also a segment of the market that doesn't have that information and what we are doing on the show is that we are actually providing information for everybody at all those levels so even if you are not in the market for buying a car we just want you to let you know what is available so that what, that day you get that job that day that you're making that decision, you know what to pick. Do you think we are embracing the new advanced kind of cars, Kenyans, yes, to yes. be specific? People are now keen on getting absolute value for their money. So they will research and they'll do anything. So even when you walk in the showroom, you would find back in the day, dealers used to have bare standard vehicles. But the car like the one that's behind us, it's got all the bells and whistles you can think of. Uh, creature comforts that now manufacturers are putting are based on needs and wants of the consumer and the Kenyan consumer is becoming more uh, you know averse with these things. Yeah. When it comes to looking for parts what guys need to realize is that you can actually nowadays talk to your dealer it's not the horror stories that we used to hear from back in the day and part of what you've seen today them bringing their cars for the launch here them bringing their cars to events at malls at motor shows they are more than they used to be before they're not waiting for you to come to the showroom anymore they're even coming to you what's your favorite car oh my favorite car is right here in the corner there it's a ford ranger raptor All right. yes big boy trip what's your favorite car i'm a purist uh, porsche 911 turbo gt2 rs guys let me tell you something the thing they say that cars are men's toys it's true the way you're <laughs> describing that car i don't know anything but i just had the porsche is the same way i would describe my stiletto yeah. you know and my yeah. lipstick and my you know yeah. so yeah and there's a car right behind us and we are about to try test drive it yeah. i am so excited what car is this this is the 2019 mazda cx5 okay. so what uh, trevor said is when we talk about consumers becoming more uh, sophisticated this is an example of that so when people think of luxury you probably very quickly go to Mercedes BMW but guess what Mazda right. also has uh, some tricks up its sleeve okay. and we're going to show you right now exactly what that is Mazda CX-5. Dear future husband, as you can see, the color is in red. Like, this is the color of love. Please feel free to spark the passion. I had such a good time. Thank you so much, Marigi. Thanks for having us. Looking forward to see what season 2.4, 2.0 has in yeah. store for us. Right, so guys, do yourself a favor. Watch this show every single Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Cars with Big Boy Trev, and you are going to love it. If you think this is only for the car lovers, think again. Even those who don't think you're car lovers, we are going to make you car lovers right on this show, right? Yeah. Boom. There you go.